All right, today's day three. We're brushing our teeth and everything. We have our first excursion today. Jewels of the North, and we're in Akiuri. Yep. I said that right this time, Akiuri. We're gonna go get some breakfast really quick at the buffet, and then we have meeting time at 8.45 at the Stardust Theater. And this is like a six and a half hour excursion with a lot of walking, so I'm definitely gonna wear tennis shoes for the first time in a long time. All right, breakfast time. Pretty nice day out, but supposedly it's going to rain, so hopefully it doesn't. But I did bring my 100 Thieves, should 100 Thieves rain jacket, in case it does. All right, we're off the ship and we're headed to our first excursion at Akiuri. Jewels of the North. We got off the bus. Uh, we're at Akiari. Akiari. Oh, there's a waterfall here. That's what we're coming to do. The bus has like a lot of stops, but the first stop is a waterfall. I'm not sure what the other ones are, do you? Um, a volcanic crater. I think a couple of volcanic craters. Um, and then oh, a lava field. Gotcha. Okay. So we're starting with the waterfall. It's a nice long walk. It's very beautiful outside. It's very green. Well, that's what they say is that Iceland is supposed to be green and Greenland is supposed to be ice. <laughs> yeah, they did it backwards. We lost Lindsay. She walked off by herself. And I have no idea where she is. So hopefully she just missed the bus. I guess we'll see in about 10 minutes when the bus leaves. A few minutes later. Update, I found Lindsay. She was in the bathroom. She just didn't decide to fucking tell me. I said I was going to No, I was looking at a sweatshirt and I turned around and you were gone. I said I was literally going in there and go to the bathroom. Yeah, but we were like walking through the building looking at stuff and it disappeared. We just had our little cafe, a little breakfast in the hotel. This is a roof. There's a grass on top of the roof in here. It's interesting for sure. You guys enjoying it so far? Yeah, so far it's good. You sound so excited. <laughs> and uh, it's a good idea to use the restroom ticket. All right, so we're going into Lava Lambra. Yep. Lindsay seems super excited. Why are you, why are you looking at me like that? I bought a t-shirt for James. So James, if you're seeing this, I just bought your t-shirt. It's the White Viking one, which you'll have by the time you see this. And I got myself two t-shirts. And we also got a book about like the history of Iceland inside there, right? Yep. Yeah, like a history of Iceland book. Now we're headed back to the bus so we can get a move on to the next place. So now we're at uh, the sulfur pits. Mud flats. Mud flats, in But there's sulfur everywhere, there's steam. You kind of see it, we're gonna be walking a lot closer. But it smells exactly like sulfur, which is like the uh, apartment we were at, it smelled like eggs. So it smells pretty bad here. But we'll get some closer up shots. These are their mud flats. But it's basically like sulfur pits. It looks like tar right there. One of the things they were telling us was um, Iceland's growing at like an inch a year. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Right on the fault line. Pretty yeah, interesting. You like this place so far, Lindsay? Yeah, cool. Except like the fact that it smells like Bigfoot's dick. Oh my god, would you stop? Overall, this excursion's pretty cool. It's very far away, so luckily we took the excursion, otherwise we wouldn't have seen a lot of this stuff. But this one does smell just so bad. I don't think we're ever gonna have eggs ever again. Maybe for at least sure. for a couple of days. For at least a couple of weeks. 
We're headed back to the uh, bus. We're taking bets right now if Aaron and Heather are already on the bus because they can't handle the smell of the sulfur. You guys gave up on the smell? Yeah. yeah it smelled like diarrhea. <laughs> we should have made a bet on that, like money wise. All right, we just got back to the ship. We're gonna go to Oceans mm -hmm. because the dining halls are closed. So we're gonna go get some burgers or fish and chips or something. But we're hungry, it's been a long day. I made it to Oceans, looking over the food. Probably get chicken wings and a burger. We're also looking over what the uh, things are to do today. And we're just waiting for Aaron. And Heather, if they show up, I'm not sure if they are coming or not. Apparently, Aaron is too cool to hang out with us. He's just hanging out down there with Heather. Lindsay just sent him a picture of himself. So I wonder if they're gonna look up and see. Oh, they see us. <laughs> they're looking for us. <laughs> we just found out the wings that they have are amazing as shit. Were they Korean spicy barbecue or something like that? Korean sweet barbecue. I didn't even take a video beforehand because they were so amazing. We got our burgers. Lindsay's already digging into hers before I can get a video of it. Barbecue bacon burger. I cannot wait to eat this. Lindsay got like a fish burger. <coughs> uh, I just finished at the gym. It's 8 o'clock. Lindsay's getting up so that we can go eat something at the buffet probably because I'm starving. It's been like an hour and a half there. I watched the Zila documentary again. Thanks, Ilya. Uh, and <coughs> I guess we'll see where tonight goes. Guys, look at all the pasta. Look how big this bowl is. Lindsay's in heaven right now. All right, guys, we're going with salads and then just a little bit of meat. I'll probably go back for some more. I need some more protein today, for sure. It's been a really rough workout. We're on the move, 7, it's 8 p.m. Moving on to our next port. We got our iPhotos, but we're trying to load the page and it's just been sitting here loading forever. It's been like three minutes, which is literally forever. The next day. Breakfast time, day four. Did they say four? Day four, okay. We're at Says Fjord. Say this Fjord. Say door. Uh, we got omelets today and a ton of fruit. I got a ton of fruit and a ton of bacon. Everything omelet, just like Cody and I always get. Cookies delivered and Lindsay's already taking one. I didn't even get the decision. That's what they're there for. But I, you're taking the only chocolate chip cookie. It, Do you want half of it? No, you already touched it. You already touched it. No. Oh, God. Oh. <coughs> All right, we're walking down to the tender boats. If we could start hanging out at, what's this place called? Sadis Fjordur. Sadis Fjordur. Probably said that right this time. It looks like your dad's park job. <laughs> All right, new plan. We're gonna hike up there and check out that waterfall up there. We'll see how far we get. Cause I'm also wearing white shoes today. Uh, this place is really nice. Do you like this place, Lindsay? What's it called? Yeah. Sadis, Sadis Fjordor. Fjordor. Oh, that was pretty close. Lindsay, go on without me. I'm gonna die. We've gone a whole 20 feet. Update, this is a horrible idea. Why? Because I have Air Force Ones on and you have sneakers on. This was not smart planning. We got a breath already? I don't think we're gonna go the rest of the way. No, I think we're fine. But either way, it was still pretty cool. Really beautiful views. But my Air Force Ones I have mud all over them now. We made it back to the town. We're gonna to look for maybe a little cafe. Yeah, we might go here, or we might just leave and go back to the ship. We're not sure. All right, 
we did a little cafe stop. Now we're headed back to the ship. I think we might hit the jacuzzi today. It is a really nice day out. <clears throat> Maybe we can get a little sun in so we're not as pale as we are. We're the palest people on the ship, I think. There's our boat. All right, we're gonna get mimosas because why not? There's a lot to choose from. <laughs> Lindsay just spilled her drink. I was gonna take a video of us clinking, but I can't do that because she spilled her entire drink. <laughs> She's journaling. Yeah. She knows how to read and write, unlike me, I don't. But I still have my mimosa. <laughs> Lindsay's talking about shaving my arms right now, and I don't think that's very nice. You're talking about waxing your arms. Oh yeah, waxing my arms. What? Lindsay's talking about waxing my arms Put some right nice now. hot wax on in your sleep, and then to get it off, you My know? arms are way too hairy for that, dude. You would, They're not hairy. I would look for a new wife, for All sure. Right here is good for the wax. There's plenty to stick to. That's not good for my skin. It's fine for you. Not good for my mental health. 